Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Vampire. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay, we're going this way. That man has bronchitis. It's locked, all right. But do I gotta talk to this guy all over again? Hello, Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Doctor. Did I gotta talk to this guy all over again? Let me see. Yes. Okay, no, I do not. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. That's good. That that's actually really good. Oh, sorry about this. I forgot my vampires block in the chat. There we go. You had 3,000 hours in Gary's mod? That's a yikes. During playing Gary's mod, I've heard so many N-words. Oh my god. I've been called so many names. <laughs> But somehow I still played it. You know, I'm gonna take all their medicine and stuff. Fuck the people. Fuck the people. Oh god, I heard a rat. Oh, I got sparsity. What do we have here, nurse? Patient Razvan Vasily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and Salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Because he's a vampire. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. He's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Skull, hand me that skull. What can I do, Doctor? I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe, that rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Yo, this Doctor, is intense. we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, Doctor. You're over here questioning me, and I'm over here asking for your opinion because you're questioning me. Don't fucking question me. <laughs> He's still bleeding, Doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? Ooh. I, I can't see. the artery find the wound the source of the blood needle and thread doctor good the stitches are holding how's he doing we're losing him we've lost his pulse he's dying doctor cardiac massage now cardiac what are you making this up as you go along? <laughs> Yo, I'm fucked up. We lost them. Damn, we lost them. 
because I'm not a real doctor. Well, he is. I'm not. <laughs> We've lost the pulse. He, he's gone, Doctor. Oh, the outcome's always the same. <laughs> we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went? Piling up one poor corpse? Hey, 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 hey. Don't this shit talk me. Induced seizure. I've never You're the one in the fucking like back alley at hospital. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something primitive. There have been numerous reports... He was turning into a scroll, wasn't he? Oh, no. ...caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I have no idea. I have not played Gary's mod in a while, so I don't know what kind of player models there are. The server I usually play on are the Dinkelberg servers. I doubt you're here to test my bedside manners. No. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. Uh, Dorito. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Your heart might be in the right place, but you can't carry on with this blackmail. For God's sake, Dorothy, it's extortion. It's a serious crime. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what uh, else am I to my do? Shirt on. I'm all these people have. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop, Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Shit. Listen very carefully, Dorothy. You will erase from your memory everything you pretend to know about Lady Ashbury and Pembroke Hospital. Let that rich bitch off the hook over my dead Nurse body. Nurse Crane, enough. Listen as if your life depended on every word. I know you have a generous heart who gives freely to those in need, but you shall walk away from the shadier streets of your business. I will never abandon... Dorothy, the discussion has come to a close. Oh, your shit. clandestine activities in the Resistance are over. Let it go. I... I let it go. Yes. All gone. Oh. What up, boy? He's a killer. Damn straight I am. I like that person. They said funny words when they were dying. How why'd y'all kill him? Wait, 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 wait. Where the fuck are they? What? They just disappear? Thought they were on the bed. Hello. Thank you. Got some codeine, boys. Codeine. Oh shit. No civilians allowed, sir. You don't see me. Hey! I'm talking to you. How do you see me? <laughs> Steady, boys, we've got Hi -ya! Ah! I missed. 
this on me. Huh. Give me some of that Kool-Aid, boy. Want some more? You want some? You want Yeah! been unlocked Is there one over here too that can unlock yeah all right we need to go talk to lady ashbury hello mr petrescu hello dr reed let's see if he has anything to say yes personal life no. This thing. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Oh, wait. That can't be all, right? It's still light up. The fuck? Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. It's still lit up, though. You know what sucks? I'll never know what daytime is in this game. Fucking mouse is stuck for a second. Can I eat you now? Good evening, Mrs. Fuck. No, don't care then. Dude, I just don't care about the priest. I want to eat him. It's locked. Don't know what. This game does have some Dark Souls mechanics. Like sometimes there's doors that are locked from the other side. Enemies return when you rest at the bed and level up. The fighting kind of. Kind of. It's over here. Oh. You want to go? Ah. All right, we got that one now. Nice, you guys got some shillings for me. Oh, no, 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 That's a big boy, 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 that's a big boy. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Okay, 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 okay. Yo, I don't wanna die. I'm freaking out. He's gonna be running up here probably. Not you. I don't, wanna, I don't care about you. I care about Big Boy. Where the hell is he? I whacked his ass. Hey! Nobody saw that. <laughs> I didn't die to a scrawl. Hey, where the fuck am I? Oh, I think I kind of know where I am. Hey, 
human. Kill it. You aren't human. Fuck you mean. Get up here, get up here, get up here, get up here. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. Chill, chill out with that. I don't know who Reverend Kane is, but his blood is yummy. Ow. Bitch. Oh, you go you come down here real quick. Oh wait, what? Away with you! Oh shit, no! This hey. man stunned me with his face. His crucifix. This is not good news. Is that like a mini bus? Is that a mini bus? He had a name. But it wasn't like a big name, like the the wolf and the what was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? I forget the guy's name, but it was the first vampire we fought. I think it was the first scroll that we fought. Hello. This is the cross that leads for you guys are mean. Was just brood. Okay, give me all that. You give me that. I'll TP up there. Stone Bridge Cemetery. Should I be here? Probably not, right? It's probably a really bad idea. Play Blood Serum. Hey, yo. Oh, yes. Give me the blood. Dude, I ate a puppy. Wait. Tell me why I can't go over here. Window in distress? Wow, sounds like not my problem. Dude, I keep hearing the fucking little woodchuck sound faintly in my ear when I play this game. And I just fucking think of that stupid ass Simon Says game that constantly plays nonstop. And I don't know where the fuck it is. <laughs> Hello? Oh, banana. Dude, that's what I'm saying, dude, the banana. Spring. Form a supernatural move to your target. Cause damage upon landing. Okay, but this. Eh. Could use more HP.
Here we go. Got more HP. We're good. Ah, shit. Disappearances have escalated. Oh, no. He's the only one we got to treat here. Ah, uh, shit here is critical. Oh shit, I can do this. Okay, somebody needed something for a headache, right? I forget. I think it was somebody here. Yeah, he has a headache. We gotta treat his headache once we get back. Okay, we got a headache medicine. Uh, let's see. Where's, where's he at? Okay. He has unknown. Okay, he has bronchitis. Got medicine for his bronchitis. She has a cold. Or no, he has a cold. What the fuck do I mean she? I'll make two cold medicine because I think there's another one of a cold. Yeah, him. And he has fatigue, so let's do that. And we're going to run back towards that town. Wait. Yes. Got some pills. Yeah, we're gonna run back towards that town for now. To give everybody the medicine. Because I'm a good doctor. Matsu, you said this was hard. <laughs> I thought I killed them. <sighs> Good evening, Doc. Okay, what did you have yet? Fatigue. Do you need assistance? That would be nice of you, Doctor. Who knows what I may have caught during my investigations. If you persist in investigating the most pox-ridden boroughs of London, you must accept the risks. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Darling. Farewell. <laughs> I like how I gave him the medicine and I got like a trading card on Steam. It's like, yeah, this is your, this is your reward. Good Change you. Don't you have any medical? No, okay, Goodbye, you're. Miss. I forgot I treated you already. The priest gets nothing. Priest gets nothing. I don't. I honestly don't like priests. I'll be a hundred percent honest, y'all. I really dislike priests. Come on, we can sort it out, right? It's not my call, but you. Goodbye. You're healthy. You never. You're healthy. Goodbye for now. What the fuck? Okay, let's go treat his cold. But you. Good evening, sir. Do you remember me? If you're here for a reward, you'll be sorely disappointed. But I'll gladly shake the hand of a fellow countryman. I'm not here for a bounty. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed from the Pembroke. The 
doctor. My chapel. What an opportunity. Yeah, I know. Bates. Cadogan Bates. Do you require assistance, Mr. Bates? I just like Not to look at everybody. Me, but your skills could help a lot of people around here. That would help my business, could I say? A live tenant, a paying tenant. Since I took an oath to help people, can I be of assistance? Well, seen better days, that's for sure. But it was bound to happen with all these refugees about. Infecting you is probably the last thing on these people's minds. Take this in any case. What? You give me this for free? <sighs> Don't have a clue about this place, do you? Waterlands free is free on it. Dude, I don't have Epic anymore. I deleted that fully. Yeah, the free games were nice, but I don't I honestly don't trust Epic at all. Wait. Oh no, where's he at? Hey, I play it on Xbox. I don't play it on Ga Epic Games Launcher. The fuck? Yo, lock on to him, dumbass. What the fuck were they all coming from? <laughs> well, stay still. She's so strong, though. What, what did that say? Level 24 level or level 28? The fuck? Why is she so strong? I'm still gonna have to come back and whoop that ass. met a couple people they're recovering gotta figure out where the fuck these guys are where the hell is richard at it's locked all right oh dude i could have i could have opened that when i was on the other side right Time to be a doctor. Shut up. Dude, honestly, if you guys saw me talking to a priest, I would literally be so fucking, like, asshole-ish. That's how much I don't like him. Okay. You guys gotta chill out. I'm gonna let you bite me. Ah, oh, what? Emotional damage. 
I forgot where all my buttons are. Bruh, ain't no way. Give me all my blood back. And give me all my HP. Bozos. Oh yeah, I just realized this attack don't don't really damage y'all, so I can get my blood back. Let's go. And my HP. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, you over here. Good evening, Mr. Nivikot. And good evening to you too, my good sir. Can I be of any help? Do you need medical attention, sir? It may be wise to let you prescribe me something. I don't feel like I should. I understand your appetite for words and macabre beauty, sir. But you should be more careful. The nutrition of my mind is more important than my physical health. But I appreciate your concern, sir. Hey, look at that, dude. We're being a doctor. Hey, let's go. What the hell is all this? Dude, I hate that fucking sound that keeps happening that I keep hearing. You guys don't know what I'm talking about because I fucking know. That damn little Simon Says game used to play a so much that it got on my nerves where I just fucking dug through my fucking hampers and stuff trying to look for it and somehow it still goes off so this thing making that noise is totally bugging me <laughs> oh my god what the fuck is that bro jay what the fuck is that that's what i'm saying dude what the fuck is that hey matsu that girl's cheap and she's clean go for it <laughs> There's blood. I'm scared. Never mind. I'm not. I see loot. Good evening, Mr. Petrescu. What are you doing here? I could ask you the exact same question, Mr. Doctor. Now leave me alone. How do you feel, Mr. Petrescu? Do you need my help? I would not even accept fresh water from you, Doctor. I don't need your help. Eh, fuck it anyway. Yes, you do. Please, take this. You'll feel better. <laughs> I said I don't want anything. But I'll keep this for those who really need it. Bro, you got bronchitis. Goodbye, Shut Mr. the Petrescu. fuck up. When science fails you, this elixir will give you faith again. Oh my god, not a snake oil Good lady. Evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. Fellow healer, huh? Tell me, who intrigues you most in Whitechapel? The region itself is something to see, but I would <laughs> Yo. say Camellia the Mute Florist gives wicked. away her flowers. What do you think of the locals? Most of them are afraid or desperate. They all come to me eventually for my remedy. The way this game plays, it's like a video game and it's like a TV show. Is there anyone I should avoid? Cadogan Bates, without a doubt. The bloody bastard remorselessly exploits poor migrants as soon as they get here. Is there any personal stuff? No. 
Let's check out your I'd shop. Like to see what kind of medicine you're selling. Takes medicine and credit rules. Oh no. You know what? Why don't you pay me money? Okay, all I have left is the headache. All right, this is junk, so we could sell these. Yo, look, she just gave me money. <laughs> yeah, what a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I chose to get like cured route. Oh, what the fuck? Hey, what a long face, my guy. Why did I come up here? Oh, I cannot enter. What? Ooh. Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. All right. I shall leave you alone. Okay. You just see me bust down the door. <laughs> Notice there's no vampire hunters down here. This Human place is blood. God, it scared me. Whoever left these marks did so. Get him! Ah! Sir, give me your blood. Hey, just get, did a boss fight. Let's go. Back. That was easy.
the hell did I get from him? Oh, I got this. Nice. I'll be 100% honest. I don't think the gun's pretty good. I think the gun's only good for when I want to do ranged. It's a goo. Dude, I don't like this game sometimes because they fucking jump out of nowhere at you. Like, they try their best to, to stay there until you're walked by and then they fucking scare you. Why though? Why they do this? A lot of survivals. Is that a vampire over there? Or is that just a box? I don't know. Oh, it's a vampire. Look at that. Who's that vampire right there? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna drink some drink. Ah, delicious. I love how the loading screen waited until I actually took a sip. Loading screen is the goat, dude. He in here? Or, uh... He's not in here. Where the fuck is he? I gotta give him the damn medicine. Oh my god. Not a gnome. He's nothing but that. Uh, who's the guy that I need to give the medicine to? Oswald Patcher. Do not worry, Oswald. I'm coming. Okay. What the fuck are they doing? Man, I'm over here trying to fucking give you medicine and stuff and you run away from me, asshole. Wait. Sometimes you act like a real jerk, you know that? Oh, come on, Ozzy, don't be like that. What, like what? Like someone who felt betrayed by the man he loves. Did you ever even try to find me? Rescue me? No, it's not like that. I wanted to. I was so afraid to leave the hospital. I wanted to be seen with you. But we survived <laughs> the together. That's oh my god. I know you did your best. You like that, Matu? <laughs> Fuck the wall. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 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 Alright, right, let me give you your damn medicine. Just <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> Hello again, Mr. Thatcher. 
Do you feel any better now? Yes. This neighborhood may stink of dog shit and reek of piss, but to me it smells like the purest mountain air. Do you need medical attention? Don't get me wrong, sir. I'm grateful for what you've done, but I've never felt comfortable with doctors. I'm certain you have your reasons, but let me assure you I'm not like other doctors you may have consulted with. It is true. You risked your life to save me, after all. It would be impolite to refuse your counsel. Hey, we got him the medicine. Mr. Thatcher, do you have a job? No. Since I came back from the war, I spent most of my time and energy just trying to forget. I understand what you mean. I was a soldier, too. No. Nobody can truly understand what I've gone through. Why were you locked in that sewer? What happened? I went by the canal after an argument with a friend. Got chased by these fucking wankers and had to barricade myself in despite my claustrophobia. Why did you run? What was the reason for your argument? Newton wanted me to go to a hospital. I can't stand being closed in. It makes me feel like I'm suffocating. You could stay outside while they operate. Tell so. me about your claustrophobia. Has anyone given you an official diagnosis? Yeah, that's what the bloody doctors said. But I don't want to go to a hospital to get checked again. I'll deal with it my own way. Oswald, why did you not go to the Pembroke Hospital to seek medical help? I don't trust doctors. All they care about is their careers and processes. I won't be locked in any room again by anyone. Your fear of being trapped is not going to go away by itself. You need professional help. I've seen enough butchers in white coats to last a lifetime. Hospitals reek of chemicals and death. What I need is fresh air. Well then stay out in one of the tents. Tell me about your true feelings for Newton. I love him. I'm not ashamed to say it. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. I can't imagine life without him. I admire your honesty. It takes courage to stand up to society. The world needs people like you to create change. Courage is what we needed in the trenches, looking death in the face every day. I speak plain. I speak my mind. Have you always been this straightforward? All I know is, before you saved me by the sewer, my only regret was I wouldn't be able to hold or kiss Newton again. I love him, that's all. Why should you be ashamed? I'm not, I said. But Newton sees it differently. Well, looks like we gotta talk to Newton. Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of... Yes, I am the voice of reason. Thank no, you very much. No, I really don't. <laughs> An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. When I rescued you, you expressed joy at seeing the sky again. So I'm inclined to believe you were trapped or buried somehow. Maybe during a shelling. Jeez, you're good, Doc. You're really good. Go on, please. Tell me more about it. Newton and I were trapped in a circulation tunnel after an artillery attack. We were buried alive for several days without ever knowing if we'd be found. Oswald, tell me about what happened when you were buried in that tunnel with Newton. It was more than dark. It was black as pitch. Hours seemed like days, and days like months. And the terror, the shameful thoughts. Lord have mercy. What you endured was terrifying. It would have completely destroyed weaker men. It did not destroy Newton. Shameful thoughts. Tell me about them. At some point, I don't remember which day, but when I thought we'd never be rescued, that this would be our end, I thought, I thought about, I thought about. <laughs> say it, Mr. Thatcher. If you ever want to heal, you have to say it. I thought about what I could do to survive, just for a few more days. I thought about killing Newton, killing and eating him. The man I fucking love. 
I mean, you want to survive, right? Matsu, if we're trapped somewhere and, and there's... I'm going to eat you, dude. I'm going to fucking eat you. <laughs> I'll fucking eat you. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Matsu. Try to take care of yourself. Hello again, Mr. Blight. I'm happy to see Mr. Thatcher is safe for now. I'm eternally grateful, Doctor. We were total strangers and you helped us anyway. Can't thank you enough, sir. <laughs> Why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back? It's complicated. Since the war, Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital. And me, I've got my own issues. Can you speak about them? Rats, sir. Even seeing one, they turn me. I just want to run. It's that fear that stopped me from going after Oswald when he left. You are always welcome at the Pembroke Hospital. As a former officer, I'll be honored to welcome a fellow veteran. I'm not giving up on bringing Oswald back to the hospital. I just need to convince him that he needs some help. Perhaps he needs to reach that decision by himself. Could you speak to him? He doesn't usually listen to doctors, but perhaps because you've been through it, you can talk him round. What can just you talk to him, war, though. If you want to speak about it, of course. War was... Well, you know, sir. The stench of death everywhere. Your mate's lying bleeding in the mud. Just praying to make it through and get home. Bloody nightmare. Did you know Oswald Thatcher before the war? No. We met in the battlefield. I think we were in the same boat to France. We've stuck together ever since. I fought in France too. I served as a field surgeon. But it was not uncommon to repel an assault, especially at night. Yeah. The first time I was wounded, I had to protect the infirmary from hostiles. Twice. Protect the infirmary from hostiles? Just think of it like a tower defense, my guy. Like, you know, <laughs> what was it? What's that game called? Balloon something, uh, six? <laughs> Treat the enemies like balloons. How do you feel about Oswald Thatcher? You are more than friends, aren't you? I, I love him. I love Oswald. We knew we wouldn't survive the war without each other. But I am terrified, Doctor. What frightens you so much? What if people find out? Oswald says I'm ashamed, but it ain't that. It's more, well, you know, I never thought I'd love a man. I won't say a word, Mr. Blight. Your secret is safe with me. I fought for my country and I survived. I saw my comrades die. And now society tells me I'm a criminal for who I love. It makes me so angry. Damn, I bet this guy was yours in 2022. <laughs> you and Oswald were buried alive during the war. Tell me about it. Yeah, it was last summer. A shell hit our trench and we were buried for a week. Oswald seemed far more traumatized than you by the event. It wasn't the first time it happened to me. But surviving it again gave me strength. Do you believe that? How did you survive for a week? Luckily for us, there were rations and water in the tunnel. It was an outpost, see. Since then, Oswald's not keen on being inside for too long. What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year following an artillery attack. I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. And there were rats. Go on. They started eating me as soon as I dozed. Gnawing at my ears, my fingers, lips. Couldn't call for help. I see. No, you don't. You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. 
fucking vermin eating your flesh. Oswald, he found me and saved me. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care. Damn. Of Let me see. Do I have any more conversation with him? Good evening, Doc. Newton is conflicted about his feelings towards you. Would you like to talk about it, Oswald? It makes me sad and angry. It feels like the beautiful thing we have is somehow tainted. It hurts to see him so lost. His love Grab his dick and twist it! Light when he expressed his feelings for you. Newton still has to accept it, knowing he'll be seen as a queer, a fairy, less than a man in those simple-minded bigots' eyes. Though he's more of a man than they'll ever be, so fuck them all. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Manton. Try to take care of yourself. Perhaps I should have considered the offer from that Cadogan fellow. Ah. Oh, God. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. You killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. <laughs> Ultra wide, let's Spend go. your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward, nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway... I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. <laughs> Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed, your ladyship. The person who took advantage of you has, shall we say, seen the error of her ways. So who was it? My lady, the blackmailer was dealt with using the utmost discretion. The culprit's identity is of no relevance. Thank you, Jonathan. That is exactly what I needed from you. You have proven your loyalty, so... As a friend, please accept this small token of my appreciation. Thank you, my lady. If you have an inclination to learn more about vampires or your current situation, I will be glad to aid you in your quest for knowledge. Bruh. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this bourne. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. Oh, no. When I awoke, changed i was chased and attacked by vampire hunters prepared and well trained though i can't be certain more than likely it was the once glorious guard of prewin prewin you make them sound like some sort of cult more a society and like all the best ones a secret society i thought them almost gone but it seemed they have been recruiting once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. 
they are sworn to destroy our kind. Okay. Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. What are you gonna do? But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to... Dude, I could never get play. into chess. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. Hold up, you guys noticed she was saying he or she back then, but now she's saying he. So me being it's a, a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. Okay, so that means Jonathan drank the vampire's blood. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Excuse my forwardness, but are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution. And I'm no fool. Damn. A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word, defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No. You are now an Ekon. An Ekon. Hey. I like that word better. Ekon. Let's go. Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... But a branch of the immortal tree. My head hurts. <laughs> Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. 
What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stone? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London vampire society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders? As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. Bruh, I can't have this fucking but guy looking at me all the time. Look at, look at him looking at us. I take no pleasure in taking a life. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I move my camera, please? I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now, and 27 I shall remain. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. Oh. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, scowls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. What type of vampire is a scowl? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. Damn, you hate to see it. I bid you farewell. For now, Malik. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Hold up. Oh, I want some more. Hold up. Okay, let me check this out real quick. Everybody here is doing good. They're all recovering. Uh, this area, though. This area, yikes. Bro, are you kidding me? Matsu, that's not good. That's not cool, dude. <laughs> Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still Don't worry. Save I'll lives. save that for next time. I'm just gonna do some stuff. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Hmm. Milton shotgun. Ayo. Ayo. Now I got a shotgun. Let's go, baby. You got the crumpled letter. Yeah, baby. Oh, I'm going this way now. Oh, I don't like the way that sounded. Okay, where am I at? We gotta get to the docks. Hold up. Stay away! Oi! <laughs> He's T-posing! Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> yo! Yo, that's terrifying! He was asserting dominance! 
See them fancy clothes? This one's a top. He's dead. That was terrifying. I didn't like that at all. All right, this place is stable, but it's not good. Where's all the civilians at? I cannot enter. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like that. Uh, let's switch back to this. Oh wait. There we go. We'll see. Can I go up there? No. Oh, what's that? Yo, I'm not gonna lie, something don't seem right. Okay, I see you over here. It's one of them. Get their weapons ready. He's done for. Bruh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was probably the scariest thing ever in Gary's mod when those uh, cliners were just fucking T posing at you and getting prop hunt. I've, I've never felt the same after that. Nice. Oh, wait, I can't do it. It's locked, all right. What? Man, that's some booty cheeks. Oh, wait. I want to get to know everybody in the dock district. But I can't open this gate. I cannot enter. It's locked, all right. I guess I can't go to the dock district. Sad times, guys. Sad times. Wait a minute. If I was a game developer, I'd put something right here, right? No? Oof.
Oh! Game, why'd you do that? <laughs> why the fuck do all the games like to put exploding stuff when you walk on them? If only I was young again. On, let me teleport. Uh, what's this? Ultimate. Ooh. Like the sound of that. Yeah, we have an ultimate. Let's go. The following night. Well, that's not good. Oh, that reverend can die, dude. I don't care about him. Oh, no. Fatigue. Okay, two fatigues. I don't care about him. Okay, we got two fatigues. That. Okay, let's let's quickly make the medicine. Two fatigues. What about this? Uh, fatigue, 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 fatigue. Five, six, seven. Okay, I'm needing to make seven fatigues. <laughs> Yo, I'm so good at the game, I collect everything. Hold up. Got some more coding, boys. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Rick. Is there anything really? Okay, let me give you medicine. Unfortunately, you are not the only person who needs help. And complaining about it won't do you any good. Well, perhaps you're right, Dr. Reed. I'm sure if me missus was still alive, she wouldn't be happy with me going on like this. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. Okay, you also have fatigue. Good evening, Nurse Branigan. Good evening. Do you require? I will. Okay, let me give you the medicine. <laughs> Hold up, what's that achievement? What's that achievement? Hey, I healed ten citizens so far. Let's go. Goodbye, nurse. Okay, you also have fatigue. Let's give it to you too. Good evening. Good evening. Do uh, you need, heal. Okay, let's heal okay. you. Goodbye, Mill. I'm so fucking good at my job, dude. How can I be sure I'll not find your unconscious body in the house again? 
promise you, you'll not find my unconscious body. For God's sake, how can you say such a thing? How can you refuse to listen? I tried to warn you <laughs> Shut the so fuck long. up. <laughs> I won't let my only son die. You promised me you'll stay alive. Your son lied to you. Like the whole world lies to us. What? What did he say? We have some of the most brilliant in London. I'm quite busy right now. Do you need? Don't be. Then you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. Consider it a gesture of solidarity between professionals. I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. We do not see you in surgery very often. Thank you. Good, Good evening, evening Doctor. How is my son doing? Do you require medical attention as well, Mrs. Goswick? Do you know you're the only one who's asked me this? I don't feel well, actually. Despite what you think about this place, I can tell you with absolute certainty, taking this will help you recover. Well, at least your reputation seems well deserved. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for this hospital. Your son wished to die, Beatrice. Why did you hide such crucial information? Are you not aware suicide is a crime? Mortimer could be thrown in jail. I can't let that happen. I won't. I understand you fear the legal consequences, Mrs. Goswick. But don't you realize your silence significantly affects your son's case? All my son needs is help and comprehension. Not judgment and punishment for what he may or may not have done. You know, if he's going to get thrown in jail for doing that, what's going to stop him from trying to fight the inmates and having them kill him? What? Bruh. Like, what? <laughs> Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. I'm okay. Admit it, Mortimer. Your mother had you hospitalized here because you tried to kill yourself. Yes, it's true. All right, then. This is the first time we've really shared information about your case. Shall we call oh this Oh my god, the music. <laughs> you what? Hey. Oh, it stopped. Wait. Yeah, all right. Call it what you want. You can trust me. I won't report you to the authorities. My one and only concern is your health. I guess I should thank you then. I forgot Can I didn't I click help these. You in any way, Mr. Goswick. I wrote a letter for my mother. She was supposed to read it after after my death. But I suppose she doesn't have to read it now. I see. And is this letter still near the place where you tried to take your own life? Yes. And I don't want anyone reading my last words. I mean, I'm still here. If you bring me back that letter, then perhaps we'll talk. You're okay. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Good evening, sir. Doctor. Uh, Alright, guys. I might be calling it here. Thank you so much for watching. Discord, Twitter, Twitch, and schedule down in the descriptions below. Make sure to check those out. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful night. And I hope to catch you guys next time. Peace, guys.